Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story, and I've got a special feature today. I'm here with Andrew. Andrew, what's your last name? Vogel. Vogel, let's shake hands here. Yeah. We're going to be buddies. We're going to do a lot of Andrew's cars. We're in the Claremont Collection. Now, you've probably never heard of the Claremont Collection. We're going to show you one car. How many cars do we have about total? Just under 300 at the moment. So just under 300 cars in the collection. So we're going to show you one of the cars. This will be our opening car, so we'll take this as the opener. I'll grab the camera as I usually do. And Andrew, so, so first of all, what kind of car are we going to be looking at today? This one's a Pierce Arrow. It's a 1920 Pierce Arrow, an unusual configuration of an automobile to begin with because it's a three-passenger coupe, as they called it. You'll see the, the passenger compartment almost looks like a train okay. uh, car. It's a very unusual configuration uh, with two passengers facing forward and one right behind uh, the windshield facing backward. It's, it's, it's unusual, but we'll get a better look at that in a minute. Let's take a look. Let's look at this. Now, here's our Pierce Arrow, but this Pierce Arrow is unique. It's a one of one because of what? Because of the gold leaf on the entire passenger <laughs> compartment and frankly the polished nickel over the rest of the car makes it look, um, look. an unusual configuration to be sure. This is all slabs of gold. You know as they would do a, a, a church a dome put together like anything else they're all little pieces of uh, 24 karat gold leaf that have to be hand applied and that's what's been done here. Wow let's uh, first of all let's shut this door just like that. I don't want to scratch anything. Let's take an overall look at the car. And I'm going to actually move over this way just to get a better shot of the car. And that's amazing. So let's take a look at the front. We'll look at all the details of this nickel plated, gold plated car. Now this is an actual moving vehicle. Correct, yeah, like all the vehicles in the museum, they all run, uh, they're all drivable, uh, they're proper automobiles, nothing just for show as it were. Uh, and so the, this is just another one of the remarkable examples we have here at the museum. And uh, some people don't know much about this museum, but my car story, we're gonna change all that. We're gonna, we, there's just tons of fantastic autos here. We're not gonna be able to get them all in, but we'll get them in one at a time as time allows. So this will be a, a project for us and uh, we'll have some fun. Look at the great bevel to the glass there and the, 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 the little keyhole, the door handle. Let's take a look at the interior. Now here's what we were talking about the interior. Here's the two seats and there's the extra seat potentially sitting back. So if we were looking, by the way, this window comes down, as you can see. So we're going to kind of give you a feel of what it looks like to be the driver there. And if you look at these great blinds and look at the interior, just spectacular. As you kind of take in those gauges. Now all that inside is not nickel plate, that's all silver plate on the inside because the, uh, the last owner thought it would be a clever idea to, uh, to take it up a notch from the nickel and make it all silver plate. So everything you see inside looks like metal is really silver plate. Silver plate. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Look at the footwork there. And these open up and you can see there's a little spot for your flower and your headliner and you, you do notice that all of the windows open so the rear glass the front windshield and you could see this all the side windows so you really have an open air vehicle if you wanted one and the door handle and the hinges and all the gold leaf what uh, I'm just curious you have any idea what that is it looks almost like a light and it might be on the running board. Might be a light on the running board. Even the wheels, we understand, have that gold the leaf. Gold leaf, yeah. Let's take a look at the back of the car. This is so over the top. So over the top. Fuel tank here. Fuel tank and the truck. 
You know, in a car like this, also you have to remember of the, of the period, they only had brakes on the rear wheels. Mm -hmm. So it, it didn't matter how much they were built for speed, you could only stop with the rear wheels. So yeah. they were a bit precarious going down the road. <laughs> uh, a different kind of a thing. Front brakes didn't come in for another decade and a half. It's kind of unusual. So, wow. Yeah. yeah, great stuff. Look at the drums in there. Let's uh, open up the engine compartment. Any idea what that is? Um, you know, there are so many levers yeah, and, right. and, and pieces on this vehicle as there were in the day because these were incredibly complex bits of machinery. And you'll see even under the bonnet here, it was quite elaborate the way the entire, you see the, the exposed valve springs down below when you get there under the exhaust manifold. Yep. We're, you know, and again, remember 1920, so fairly rudimentary in the day. Well, there's your valve springs and... Some things very fragile, some things really overbuilt by certainly what we would think of by today's standards. Even the fan is fantastic. Let's, uh, let's shut this out. Can you get that? Okay, why don't you get that? I'll back out and we'll take a look at this. And that is one unique ride on my car story. Thanks for viewing. Oh, let me do one other thing. Just so you can get a little detail on this car, I'll let you focus on this. And there we go. Another My Car Story exclusive.